Welcome to another session of our Mass Effect Andromeda playthrough. I just finished uh, selling some things because I didn't do that in the time off. Um, but yeah, the only things that we need to do right now is I think we wanted to just briefly interact with uh, Vetra, Drac, and Liam to see if they say anything different or new. And then uh, we're gonna start. We're gonna start looking for the Turian Arc. Um, we're gonna go do that, depending on how long it takes. Um, whenever we finish that, we're gonna start the Asari arc, which is Korra's loyalty mission. So we're gonna be doing some arc hunting today, and we'll see how much of that we can get done, how much time it takes. Um, and then after we finish, if we can finish those two things up and still have a lot of time, I think we might go to Kadara and get things set in motion to make an outpost there. So we're probably going to see Reyes again and uh, have to deal with that Sloan Kelly or something. And then once that's done, all vaults are done, all outposts are done, at least at this time, then we could probably return to like Aya and turn in some missions there and kind of see what happens from, from there. So we got uh, a lot to do. Let's get it going, man. This is uh this is gonna be super fun, I think. But I've always wanted to be like doing things with the arcs Still and stuff. To find that pirate hiding place or find the missing arcs. The damn data I it. Oh yeah, that's right. He's got a loyalty mission that we haven't done yet. We'll talk later. I know it. Sounds like a fun stream, says Remington's. Awesome, man. Months into the game, Ryder finally gets preoccupied about uh, of the other arcs. <laughs> it's taken forever, I know. If I were, were to give advice to someone that is starting this game, I would be like, okay, as soon as you get to the two different planets, you don't have to explore it all because you're going to be coming back and forth. Uh, so just explore some. The first thing you should do is, the, is all the monoliths to unlock the vault. The vault should be like one of the first things you do. Um... And then try and work on the arc stuff pretty early, I guess. If I could do it all over again, because we just played this game like completely wrong uh, in terms of like what we should be doing before other things. Need something? Need something done? Nope. You probably have work to do. We can chat later. All right. You know so they don't fine. have nothing new to say. Anything new, Mr. Drac? Just talk to Kesh. Looks like some of the clan are back at the Nexus. Hired on as mercs instead of part of the initiative, but still. Good call you made. Letting her keep the drive core. New dawn for the Krogan, huh? Never thought I'd see the day. Sovereign Krogan as equal allies. My mother would have approved. Your mother would have approved. Nice, okay. We can talk more later. Sure. Sure. So have we have we not talked to Drax since the uh the stuff on Eldin? I guess not. We don't have any more AVP status. Oh no, we do. We got four cryo points. Yeah, but I don't know what I want to put him in. Cause there's no there's no like actual benefit like I don't really care about inventory space financial financial structure earn credits I guess I guess we can put two things into that how many credits we got um military Gain 10% bonus XP for completing counters. No. Most of these are like uh, the Apex stuff, which is why I don't really care for it. Science. Yeah. I don't really care for that. But we're good on that for now, I guess. The kiosk research thing. I didn't even look at that yet. Okay. All right, and I think we talked to everyone already, so I think we're ready to go. I think we are ready to go. Let's save it. What's going on? 
You should write those 10 things to know before playing. Oh, those articles. Those articles I read said nothing of the sort. Yeah, I, I remember seeing some of those when we were we were looking for something. Uh, I think last week sometime. I don't remember what, what I was searching for. But I came across one of those articles and none of the things were mentioned about like fast travel or the save system or like what you should do when you go to planets and stuff. Like I didn't see any of that when I was skimming through it, so <laughs> Yeah, I can I can definitely do that uh, when we finish this game or something. Give a, a little review at the end. All right, so man, there's a lot of systems, a lot of places to go and scan. Although there's probably not too much in these systems. Um. One of the missions that I, I do want to do at some point is there's a mission that's involving these satellites called ZK. And uh, Addison told us that like if we let that go on, then stuff can start happening to our outposts. I don't know if, if anything actually happens or not, but that seems like a mission we should do to protect our outposts and stuff. Um, so anyways... We're working on the Turian Arc right now, which is over here at the planet that we've already been to. Retro's Loyalty Mission, and there was some, like, outlaw stuff here, too. Um, so we're going to return there. I don't think there's... There shouldn't be anything new there except just this mission. But let's go back to the H047C, whatever it's called. Remington says, by the way, that wish list of yours, so good. Man, I, I can't believe uh, I just went ahead and just dropped like 70 something bucks on uh, on video games on Steam. Cause I, I had been holding off uh, like buying things on the summer sale because I, I wasn't too sure. Um, but last night my brother was buying stuff and I was like, you know, I probably need to do it because it's going to end tomorrow. Uh, it's already ended at this point. Um, Approaching the nav point but yeah, provided by Avatus. it's uh, I can't believe I dropped that much. I had about like nine bucks on my Steam wallet, so like the price was kind of knocked down a little bit. But yeah, I bought all that stuff, I posted it in Discord, so I'm pretty happy about it. I can't wait to start playing other games when we finish this, it's gonna be super fun. What uh, what this? What happening? So this is the Turian arc. It's just uh, apparently just chilling outside the uh, the planet here. Are those ships flying, or is that like ships flying? Do, do, do. Uh, well, bear dead space, which I know next to nothing about. Yeah, I, I bought that specifically for um. Like, that's what we'll play in October. That'll be our, our one of our scary games that we play. We'll, we'll be playing Soma before uh, October. We'll probably actually be playing it within the next couple of games, I would think. And then I, I went ahead and, like, looked at all the games that I've acquired um, from Twitch Prime. And I forgot I had The Walking Dead. I had Walking Dead Season 2. I had The Banner Saga. Banner Saga 1, the Banner Saga 2, which is kind of like a, a tactical, sort of like uh, Viking, sort of uh, like XCOM-ish sort of game a little bit, I think. Um, so I might play those on stream. That Those seem kind of fun. And then we have um, Titan Souls, which is like a, a pixel, sort of like a, a lot of boss battles type of game. And then there was a game called Oxenfree, which is another indie sort of game. So I so I forgot I had all those. And those are games that can be added to things that we'll play in the future. So it's pretty cool. But yeah, I, I don't know nothing about Dead Space other than just like it's in space and there's aliens and zombies and stuff like that. It was originally like a PS3 title, I think. So seeing those on Steam was pretty cool. Uh, but That's yeah. The Turian Arc. It's seen better days. 
Incoming call. <clears throat> Pathfinder, I think we're on the right track. No kidding. Is it safe to board? Only one way to find out. I'll meet you inside. You gotta board this. So, it's taking some damage then, huh? As we can tell from the... The orange spots on this. Cool. But yeah, I'm super excited about all the things that I bought on the, the Steam summer sale. Can't wait to dive into some of those. I don't know what... I'm not even thinking about like what we're playing after we finish Andromeda, but we've got so many options, it's crazy. I know for a fact we're taking a break from open world games, so Fallout 4 is going to be on hold for a little while. We play other things. Remington says, I got my Prime with something like... PUBG skin. Latest promo, PUBG, Warframe, and Overwatch. Those are like all games I don't play except PUBG, but I haven't played that in like, I don't know, maybe like a month or more. But yeah, Warframe, don't play it. Overwatch, have it. It's not installed. I uninstalled it. I haven't played since like season one or something. Uh, yeah, just, just not my type of games. Arknatanis. There's currently 20,000 stasis pods. Uh, but they're, they're only detecting 15,000 of those, apparently. Uh, Tampa sensors show sev sever. severe damage to all sections of the Turian arc from exposure to the Scourge. Due to hull instability, moving the Natanis would be ill-advised. But it should be safe for a recovery team to extract the remaining stasis pods. Oh, let's go. So, you know we're taking Vetra, right? We're going to be taking Vetra on this. Um, let me remove that, because that kind of bothers me. That there's an empty slot there. Uh, equip that. There. Alright, there we go. Much better. Um... Put that on. Okay. Still need to figure out, like, maybe some different armor to be wearing. Uh, but I have to look at that. I haven't looked at it yet. Alright, so we're going to take uh, Mr. Liam. I think you're, you're done. We're going to take Vetra, because this is the Turian arc. So let's take Vetra. Probably not going to take PB, because if we take Korra and PB on the Asari stuff... Might be kind of cool. Um, so let's see. You know, I think... Um, I think we're going to go... <sighs> Probably Vetra and Drac, I would think. Because, like, Vetra and Jaw are pretty similar. I don't want to have two of those. Let's take Drac. So Vetra and Drac. A mercenary and a veteran warrior. Seems pretty good. And all that stuff is good. Alright. I think we're good. Everybody says, wow, I just realized Vetra is a word in my native language. Uh-oh. Hopefully it's uh, not, not anything bad. <laughs> I've been cussing this entire time. What is it, man? What is the word? What is the god dang word? Limited power. Life support's busted. Surprised there's any gravity at all. Limited power. Life support's busted. It had one hell of a journey. Looks like it barreled its way through the scourge by force. HO47C. It was supposed to be the Turian homeworld in Helios. Like Habitat 7. Whoever was piloting the Ark wanted to get here. No matter the cost. They were following the plan? Like ejecting stasis pods? Let's say that. Even if that meant jettisoning entire sections of the Ark. It doesn't make sense. Come on. Speculating won't get us anywhere. We're lucky this part of the Ark survived. 
Looks can be deceiving, Pathfinder. The hull is barely holding together. Thanks, Sam. Always a ray of sunshine. The hull... I could provide analysis via the scanner, Pathfinder. Okay. The hull is barely holding. I don't make puns often, but uh, when I do, they're usually bad. Container. Bio disinfectant. Ooh, everything's floating. Oh, that's kind of creepy. Andromeda initiative thing flickering on and on. It's something like a storm or a tempest, a hail, that sort of thing. It took me two months, so notice it. Or to notice it. That's how much I forgot it. <laughs> Vetra. There's a Vetra coming. Ooh, this creepy music. Hey, this door still got power. I wouldn't open that pathfinder. It leads to space. Perhaps you could divert the power to a different door. It leads to space. The power this is the door is powered by a nearby generator which is still running. Massive damage taken by the arc beyond the point has caused the emergency locks to engage. These can be overridden with the appropriate security clearance, but it is not recommended it's not a recommended course of action. Okay, so you want me to reroute the power then. Okay, so what's this console over here? Oh, they're all following me. Terminal. Okay, let's read these. To Captain D. Preyton from Mason Barrow, Pathfinder. Oh. Full report attached, but our new home is going to be going to put Palvin to shame, says the Pathfinder. The captain says, what did I tell you about sending me science crap? Unless it's got charts and pictures, it's all gibberish to me. D. Signed, he signed his name there. You and Rick's up for drinks after the goodbye party. I've got a special bottle of Horosk. And I don't want anyone, just anyone sampling. And then the Pathfinder says, now with more charts and pictures. As for drinks, we'll be there. You know how much A.V. loves Horosk. Horosk. The Turian thing. This door... Can it open? Locked. Needs power to open it. Okay. Well, what about that other door? Hey, man, don't tell me how to do my job. Power has been diverted, Pathfinder. There we go. This is like a very similar layout to the cryo on the Hyperion. Or well, no, no, never mind. Not not the cryo. The um the uh I don't know what it's called. It's like the actual ship, not the, um, like the SAM node area. It's like the same layout. Uh, is it me or SAM is way too handholdy? People ain't gonna get lost, chill out. Yeah. I think they could have, like, put in an option so that way I could turn it off. Like, the hints are fine at the beginning of the game, but, like, it gets super annoying when we're on a hazardous planet, and... This one's still got juice. And we, uh, like, we step into the heat, and he's like, it's very hot out here, and then we get to the shade, and he's like, temperatures are normal, and every single time we do that, or if we're trying to mine stuff, and he's like, there's mining stuff around here, it's like, yes, Sam, I know. They could have done a better job. Just just simply just put in a, a, a thing that allows me to turn it off. It doesn't happen to, so much. Cryogenic stability update to Natanis leadership from uh, Avitus. It's the guy we're with right now. Just received confirmation with the exception of the leadership and life support teams. All passengers have entered cryostasis and are sleepy, sleep, whew, sleeping soundly. I'm trying to read so fast. Jakana is up, is on her way up to you now to oversee the closure of your pods. 
If you haven't changed into your uniforms, do so now, so that we, that we hit our departure time. Once everyone is asleep, I will do one final round, then join you in the abyss. So he was making sure everyone was in the pods before he put himself in a pod. Another update. Uh, this is from the captain. No one tried to jump ship. Don't know if I'm impressed or nervous everyone's that confident in the mission. Don't stay up too late, Ricks. Uh, or Rick. Uh, or you'll be an old man by the time we reach Helios. <laughs> And the Pathfinder says, uh, Avi, Jakana said it was fine if you oversaw my pod closure. I know I said I wouldn't go against procedure, but I want your face to be the last thing I see in the Milky Way. You can scold me when I enter Cryo. See you soon. So the guy that we're with right now, we found him on Havarl, I think. Um, when the Turians were fighting the Ket, and then we found that little encampment. I'm pretty sure that's him, I think. And he used to be a specter or something back in the... Oh, nice. I like that. I can run into the things floating and they actually uh, get hit. Well, that one didn't. This one might. Yeah. Pretty cool. There was recently a new horror game called Perception. That had an option as to how much your character talks. Pretty cool. Commenting more or less on random stuff. Yeah, that would have been super, super helpful in this. At least for Sam. Um, Looks pretty busted. Think your Sam can get us in? Because he gets annoying from time to time. Uh, I'm more than my Sam. Let's give it a shot. Only one way to find out. I found a log from Dea Prater, the Ark's captain. The video is corrupt, but I can recover the audio. Play it. Something's tearing the Tannis apart. Half the cryo chamber is gone, trying to get anyone awake to the escape pods. Spirits, there's no time. Find Mason. She mentions escape pods. Hopefully she found them. This scene... Some of these options have been dumb for the emotional side. Logical stuff's makes more sense to me. Dea was abandoning ship. She wouldn't leave unless the situation was dire. Natanis didn't get here on its own. We need to know what happened next. The rest of the data on this console is corrupt. Perhaps if we find another. All the arcs sound note. All right, let's keep looking. The arcs Sam node? What happens when two Sams meet? Do they know they're different or the same person? Power oh, still going over here. Well, we're not going that way. Debris. Mr. Breeze. Mr. Bree appears to have collapsed during the Ark's journey through the Scourge. There. Atria. This one also needs power. Maybe we can use the same trick as last time? Divert power from something else? Yeah, let's try it. That. Dead plant. This plant has been neglected. <laughs> That description. Neglected plant. The door should now be operational, Pathfinder. has been offline for some time. Really since the Ark hit the Scourge. Avidus, over here. Store open? Apparently it looks like it does, although there's a console here. Can I save it? No. Okay. 
Well, I want to see what's in here, though. There, Sam, oh, Sam notes, like, locked down in here. Okay. I like all this random stuff just floating and how you can bump Sam into it. We've got to get in there. Yeah, this is the exact same layout as our the uh, the Arc Hyperion. Exact same layout. So that should be the captain's room right there. Then Sam nodes there. Let's go back over here. Mess around with the console here. There's still life in this one. Sam, Sam, how are we doing? Turian Pathfinder. Mason. Bring it back. Working on it. Sam, help me out. Like the previous log, the video data is corrupt. What about audio? Repairing now. One moment, please. Okay. Makes more sense to say the emotional stuff now. We're going to find him, Avidus. Mason, he's more than the Pathfinder to me. Playing audio now. Sam. How far to Abby's pod? 300 meters. <laughs> An easy stroll then. Damn it! Maybe not so easy. Where's the rest of it? That is all I could recover. Damn it. Aww. Didn't you have helmets off for dialogue? It's kind of hard to tell who's talking. Um... I thought we had it, but I guess it makes sense to have their helmets on right now because um like the whole like gravity situation here so maybe they just have it on by default i'll check the options after this though he was on his way to you he was looking for your pod do you remember anything before waking up on havarl i told you my first memory was clawing out of my stasis pod then we keep looking the only people that have been talking so far though has just been um Myself and the uh, this Turian uh, specter, I guess. Let me see. Uh, gameplay. Still on insanity, right? Yeah. Writer's helmet off in conversations. Squad mates' helmets off in conversations. So then, yeah, they must just be on by default because of the uh, situation this ship's in. What do we? What do you want me to scan in here? Find Sam node. We know it's right here. Must be the gravity thing. M immersion. Surprise! It's locked. Oh, there's a console there. I want to go in here more than anything. I know that console's there. Does this door have anything to interact with? I also can't run. I can't sprint in here. Just either just, you know, the, the smug sort of walk or a little jog. The sound node should now be accessible. Okay. I want to see Sam talk Sam, to himself. Where's the Pathfinder? Where's Mason? Avi, Avi, Avi. Commence. Stars. Avi, isn't that what Mason called you? He's the only one who calls me that. My counterpart is suffering from severe trauma. If I partition the damage, it may be able to speak with us. Be careful. I don't want to lose this Sam because we rushed for answers. Avidus Riggs, welcome home. Sam, Mason sent coordinates to this location. I need to find him. You are mistaken. I send the coordinates. I like how his voice is different than our Sam. Nice. Don't like this. So Sam set the coordinates here? I don't like this. 
Okay, this is officially getting weird. Next you'll say you flew the Natanis here. I did. The Pathfinder ordered me to help Avatus find the Torians a home. Where's Mason? Gone. This thing's still busted. It doesn't know what it's talking about. We should have access to Mason's logs. Maybe there's something in there. <laughs> Abby, whatever we hit, a piece of it shredded my suit. It stings like hell, but spirits, it's beautiful. I need you to go on for the both of us. Don't let that temper get the better of you. Sam, commence transfer. Yes, Pathfinder. Even the stars look brighter. He died before the transfer was complete. That must be the source of Sam's trauma. Why bring me here? What was the point? To complete the transfer, the Torians need a Pathfinder. <sighs> I, I can't. Well, now this guy has to step in. So, was this Avatus and the original Pathfinder that we just heard right now, were they lovers? Because he kept saying that they, like there were more, and I don't know, that's the kind of vibe I'm, I'm getting from that. Uh, but yeah. This Sam sounds like an evil Solarian, says Remingtons. Why don't you want to be Pathfinder? What do you mean you can't? I never thought I'd get the job. My whole career, I worked alone. I don't know how to lead people. I don't want to lead people. Well, you're gonna have to. Basically. It's your call? Uh, hmm. I mean, if this guy used to be a Spectre, he can do this, man. I, although I kind of feel like maybe they, the game wants you to hit this option, like this is the better of the two, even though it doesn't seem like it right now. Maybe there's someone that's better suited, but then that's like, I don't know. We're gonna we're gonna give this guy confidence. Come on, man, you can do it. Avatus, I've seen you protect settlers. You found the Turian Ark. You've already been playing the part of Pathfinder. Just without the title. A title that belongs to Mason. Well he's dead. She wanted you to have. Rejecting it won't bring him back. What if I let him down? You could only do that by walking away. Ah, damn it, you're right. Shall I begin transfer? It'll be safer on the Nexus. Suvi, call Tan. We need a shuttle to pick up the Sam node. Tell him we found the Turian. Wait, I want to look in his room. Wait, I want to look in that room. Can I not look in that captain's room? He said there were logs in there. Welcome back. 